Hey there, everybody. It's Fred Thomas at 80 Bikes, and I've been watching too much Tour de France. I'm not sure if that's even possible, but I was watching just the other day the uh, the, the Tour de Colombière and those climbs. They they looked like Hurricane Mountain, New Hampshire, and 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 they looked like Mount Washington. And it made me think um, that I had yet to uh, give you an explanation of how we turned a super like um, into a bike um, that you uh, or that I used at the Mount Washington hill climb in 2019. So I'm going to do that and um, uh, just you know uh, you know before I get into the granular details um, there are people who know a lot more about it than I do. I've only done this ride once um, but I think um, everyone agrees that having a light bike um, makes a difference. And, and when you go to this event, which is a great event, which hopefully will happen in 2020, you see people do extraordinary things to their bikes to, to make them as light as possible or, or to fit in all the gears that, that you'll need because it's seven miles straight up and it's very steep. It gets up to just a 7,000 feet, I think. Um, and, um, you know, so I'll just, I'll just show you what I did um, to my bike. Um, and um, first off, it takes a while, you know, to, to trick out your bike or to build a bike um, that is going to weigh 13 pounds or less takes a bit of time. And, um, you know, because you're trying to get the lightest parts you can find. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's not so easy. Uh, and, um, and also it can get really expensive really quickly. So what I'm trying to do here is to show you, um, you know, an economical um, uh, option. Uh, and, um, and it was fun. And, and I have to say the, the, the Mount Washington hill climb is, is the kind of event that you should do. You've got to do it at least once. And it's the kind of thing you do it once and you get to the top and you're like, wow, I could have done that faster. And, um, and so you, you're, that means you're hooked. Um, so anyway, I'm going to step back and show you this, uh, super like it is a uh, special edition model. Um, and, um, here's the thing. This is what I did. I started with the wheels because that's where a lot of the, the, the weight is. And, um, I found a pair of zip 202 tubulars. Um, and, um, this is almost as light as they get before you get into the really expensive wheels. Um, these are 10 speeds, so they're not, not the cutting edge of technology anymore. Um, um, so they were, they were pretty affordable you find them on eBay or people, um, you know, have them and, and, um, if you spot them, you can you can pick them up um, for for a reasonable sum. And um, I've always heard, in terms of drivetrains, that SRAM Red was the lightest um, thing around for mechanical. And um, so I, I came across um, SRAM Red um, uh, drivetrain. It was a compact. And um, what I did was I took the outer chain ring off. Uh, and um, and just use the uh, inner chain ring. That's a complicated maneuver because you got to get spacers to. You can see them here. You got to get spacers to accommodate for the the missing chain ring there. And then there are a couple back here between the the chain ring and the crank arm that are also um, tricky to find. But you can get them. I got I got PVC plastic rings um, at the local hardware store. And uh, it took some doing. Again, this it took me a while to put this thing together, and, and I needed some help too. So, um, uh, you know, if you're really set on doing the Mount Washington hill climb, it's worth starting in um, on the bike uh, part of it early on. And um, and then what's next? So then then I found a a, a, um, a medium cage rear derailleur, SRAM Red, um, or yes, or is it? I think it's SRAM Red, SRAM Double X. Maybe it's a mountain rear derailleur. I'm not sure, but it can accommodate um, a 36 ring in the back. So this this chain ring, or this cassette is an 1136. Um, it's a 34 up front, so it's less than one to one. Which, um, you know, I have to say, I went into this thing saying, well, I don't think I'll need that 34, 36. Within the first mile, boom, I was in the 36. Um, that's that's me. And uh, the first section is pretty steep, and then it mellows out a little bit. But um, you know, for the whole event, I'm not sure I, you know, the only time I was in the 17 was at the start. And then after that, um, it was everything below that. Um, so um, what else? And then, you know, pe people um, use just one brake. So, you know, you have to have one brake. You have to have a brake on the bike. Um, that's, a, that's a rule. Um, so people take the rear brake off and, and leave on the front one. And um, uh Eric Fallen, um, my friend who's done this ride many times with extraordinary times, uh, you know, uh, paces, 
he um, recommended just getting a, uh, a, you know, a carbon seat, which you can find pretty easily on eBay. They're very light. And um, the other thing you can do is find uh, a full carbon uh, set of handlebars. Um, uh, these inexplicably Easton 90s are extremely light. And Somehow I, I came I came across them. I've seen people just use base bars um, from time trial bikes. Um, that's something I would do um, if you know if I had the time and inclination to to make further modifications. Um, and and again, if you really wanted to make it super light, you could start with with a Stork frame set or something really really light in the first place, and use lightweight wheels, and and um, you would be getting your bike down to I don't know ten pounds. This thing is thirteen pounds without the pedals. Um, that seemed pretty light to me. Um, so what else? I mean, the, the other, the other, um, you know, that's the bike, but the other sort of general point to make is that, um, Eric Levinson, the guy who won it in 2019, uh, he didn't do anything really uh, radical to his bike, except put light wheels on it. Um, he, um, just has very strong legs and he's been practicing and, um, and that's, uh, I think what, what it takes. It's a, it's a one hour job, um, more or less. And um, I didn't, I mean, I, I, I couldn't really take off and go to Hurricane Mountain or, um, uh, you know, or, or the hills. So I just concentrated on doing one hour time trial efforts um, as hard as I could go. And, and, and there was more racing obviously in 2019. So, so um, uh, you know, the, the fitness was there. And, um, and, um, and then it's just a, a question of, I don't know, pacing yourself and, and um, and um, you know, not not um, going out too hard or um, all of that. I mean, that's that's where you just got to go out there and, and try and find out um, uh, on your own. So I think um, that's all I got for um, this uh, explanation about um, the Mount Washington Super Life. And uh, of course, if you want to um, start working on that kind of thing right now, I'm available to to help guide you in the right direction. Um, either with a, a frame set or um, with components and parts. Um, um, I am a, a bicycle research resource. Um, hey, that's all I got for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.